launched a platform that uses Solana token extensions, Solana interest bearing tokens to take profit from Bitcoin trading and giving you yield. It's the open delta thing. So it has just launched. So hi guys, it's Blockchain Bernie here. And uh, let's dive into what we have there. And the Solana token extensions, we're going to see them here. So this is Solana's website. And it's about token extensions. It's also called the Token 22 standard. So that gives, and watch that video if you haven't done that here. And um, it gives a lot of exciting features for the built-in tokens, also called the SPL tokens, that are built on top of the Solana platform. And that was really hyped a few years ago because you could do amazing things with these, these new tokens, and interest-bearing tokens is just one of them, right? And the, this interest-bearing is enforced by that token program that is part of the Solana blockchain, part of the Solana kind of package that you get when when you develop apps on Solana and this interest bearing feature is super super interesting and we've been waiting for apps actually harnessing that stuff so it doesn't surprise me with this open delta thing um, that just launched today right it's a super super up-to-date thing and it doesn't surprise me that Anatoly Yakovenko has backed this this uh, project here because it's an application of the token extensions, the token 22 thing. But what does that all mean for you? It means you can use their platform here. So let's dive into it. Um, we have the uh, Solana-based uh, startup, right? And it uses the new interest-bearing mechanism to launch the Open Delta Perpetual Bond, right? So... Um, if you look at all this here, it just means that um, um, that they have launched um, um, a platform that's based on that new token extensions for interest-bearing tokens. And then Open Delta's token centers around the basis trade, a strategy common in commodities markets that takes positions on the price differentials between spot and futures markets, right? So this is not just some um, kind of snowball thing that we've been having with some of the other things that, you know, just is set to explode at some point, right? This is something where we have real trading and differentials between the spot bit Bitcoin price and the futures Bitcoin price, right? And this token in their platform and their yield generating platform is taking advantage of that. And um, so you can take profit off of, you know, real trading gains here. And that is all enforced by that token extensions, you know, by that, you know, interest bearing feature of the token 2022 standard. So I feel that is quite an interesting take on things here. And um, it's great to see some real life applications um, here um, for these interest bearing tokens that we now have on uh, that we now have on Solana. And, you know, adoption of this standard um, has been quite slow. So actually Zandium uh, building the scalable storage layer for the Solana chain. Zandium has also been thinking about adopting token 22 and the new token standard uh, for their Zan token. But it turned out that some of the core platforms, including Realms, which is doing the DAO, which is kind of the core feature of so many projects on Solana, they don't support token 22 yet. Can you believe it? So we had to use the old token standard on the on the Zandium platform. Um, yeah, but I'm happy that, you know, there are real life applications out there, right? So let's look into Open Delta itself. So here we go, the Open Delta uh, Perpetual Bond. And uh, here's how it works and designed for stable value accrual. And the value accrues by taking advantage of these price differentials between spot price and futures price, right? So anyone that has you know, experience in trading some futures or perps, also perpetuals, 
knows that there are price differentials there. It's not always the same, and they have created an engine that takes advantage of that, and it's built on top of Bitcoin, so it's the uh, uh, using the price differential for Bitcoin between spot and futures, right? So that's all great, and um, we can just say uh, launch app here. Let's see what happens. Um, clicking on launch app, um, can connect a wallet here. Uh, let's do my phantom wallet and um and let's go here right so yeah they have a total value locked right now of about five million dollars so they just launched and they have a current yield of 11.67 percent and you know they are talking of some other yields here um, but you also see negative yields here on some of their exchanges that they are trading on. So it seems the average here is the 11.67%. Um, I don't know how this will uh, develop here and, and, and whether this is a good way to um, earn interest. It seems to be bound on Bitcoin. So if you believe that um, other um, crypto assets like Solano will have uh, a higher alpha in the future than Bitcoin, and that's what I personally believe, but you know, there's other opinions obviously out there, um, <clears throat> then, um, then this might not be, at least in the current form here, not be the right for you because it's all Bitcoin-based. And um, yeah, if you're, if you're looking for yield, um, we've talked about Zandium, uh, that platform, they also have a uh, a liquid staking platform here that gives you a yield of 15.77 percent here just by staking your sol uh, liquidly so this is all sol based um not not btc based again i personally feel that you know over the next 12 to 18 months um sol will even perform better than than btc um but that's obviously a personal opinion here uh, no financial advice, um, but here on the uh, on the Zandium uh, liquid staking site, you can even make fifteen point seven seven percent, which is kind of the highest in the industry. Even the base APY is super high because the Zandium pool is sharing um, <clears throat> block rewards with the stakers, right? And we're, they are the first and only pool that that does that. And uh, it also gives a boosted Zen rewards with in, in the form of the Zen token. So, yeah, even higher yields on um, Zandium liquid staking than we see on, on Open Delta here. But the purpose of this video, obviously, was I wanted to um, let you know what Open Delta is, what you can do there. It's a very interesting development. I feel it's great news that the token extensions are being used for something in real life here. I think it's a solid um, yield generating platform here, especially um, if you believe in Bitcoin and think like, okay, Bitcoin will rise more than, than even the SOL token or stuff like that. Um, it's a great way to, um, <clears throat> to do that. I have not done all my research about their custodians and stuff. So they work with custodians, they work with these centralized exchanges there. Um, <clears throat> so do your own research there if your funds are safe. Um, I assume they are, but I haven't done a, any deep research on that one. Um, but I feel that that Open Delta platform is definitely very interesting. And it's a great real life use case for Solana's token extensions. All right, so if you like videos like these, give me that uh, thumbs up. It really helps getting the, the YouTube algorithm up and getting content like this um, to more people. And subscribe to my channel in order to get updates on the making of the Zandium platform. I've only mentioned it briefly today. Um, but if you want to know more about Zandium, please subscribe to my channel.